I just need to lose about five pounds to fit into my dress. You have stuff hanging out everywhere. Obviously you want your arms to look really good. There's always a little bulge under the arm. Too much extra just poking out right about, right over here. My biggest fear for sure is not fitting into it. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. <laughs> just get it up. Meet Heidi. Her wedding is only six weeks away and she can't fit into her dress. Wow, it doesn't fit. Look at it. It's so tight down here. I think I'm gonna lose my rib cage. It's like bunching out right here. It's right here, it's super tight, this dress, and I just don't know what I'm gonna do. That dress is squeezing the life out of Heidi. It's time for her to make some changes. Let's go. Seriously, I'm gonna lose my lung. <laughs> We're looking for a Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, tell me you're up. I'll be your personal trainer. <laughs> Nice meeting you. Nice Any Bowman, I'll be your nutrition specialist. Awesome. Finding yourself in a little bit of a tight squeeze. I totally. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start by keeping track of your food intake for one week. Okay. I've got a new outfit for you, because you're starting right away. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> There's a sense of urgency for me to lose the weight um, because I do need to feel good in that dress. I will drop the ball on you if you stop again. Does Heidi have what it takes to lose her girth? I'm totally going to die and you don't care. Or is she doomed to remain a bulging bride? You've lost two pounds. <laughs> My body was really struggling to get into that dress, and I don't need the zipper to just bust open when I'm walking down the aisle. Most of these things you committed to. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do it. No, okay. for sure, I'll do that. Okay. I am definitely a procrastinator. Everything that's been planned, basically Rick either did it or made me do it. Have you done all that stuff? Like your groomsmen's are all set? Yeah. We've um, had a lot of conflicts um, because our roles are kind of reversed. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna get it done. With Rick doing all the wedding preparations, that leaves Heidi free to follow her instincts. Okay, I got us some food. Oh. I like to eat burgers and fries with the gravy or the mayo um, because if I'm gonna have the french fries, I might as well have the mayo. The only thing I'm freaking out about right now is my weight. I really need to drop the weight to get into that dress properly. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Heidi's food diary told us she's eating a lot of nasty meals. Now, she has to face the music. Welcome to the Isle of Shame, Heidi. First stop is called the Deceptive Drink. Now this is your typical breakfast. You either have a grande non-fat mocha with whip or a coffee with no food. 330 calories for this one and 150 calories just in the whip alone. Wow. Uh-huh. That's incredible. And when you don't eat breakfast, it causes your metabolism to be sluggish. So this may be a meal's worth of calories, but it is not nutritious. Let's see what else you're up to. I call this one the stupendous snack. You got your fries, your wings. 10 of these, 1,590 calories. Oh my gosh. This whole meal is 3,750 calories. <laughs> Let's see what's at the next stop. I call this one the zipper ripper. You've got your burger with sauce, mayo, and cheese at 778 calories. And then you had a bellini, 300 calories, but you didn't stop there, did you? No. No. Later that night, four fruity, sugary vodka drinks and fried chicken. There's a week's worth of fat in these two meals alone. I can't believe that I've consumed that much fat in one night. I do have a lot of bad eating habits, so I need to really focus on getting into my dress. Heidi needs to lose her calorie cravings if she wants to breathe in that dress. Now let's see what we're working with. Heidi, welcome to your shape analysis. Bust, 34. Waist, 29. Yikes. Hips, 37. Mm, yeah, not so good. You don't look happy. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get you to step up on the scale. Weight, 
138 pounds. Take a look at the screen. With those measurements, you're at the upper end of your weight range. Your shape is a very slight pear shape. You carry a lot of weight through your hips and lower part of your abdomen. Heidi, this is Jean. She's our seamstress. Hello, Heidi. She's going to help you get into your dress. After you. Thanks. How much longer are you guys going to be? Just a second. Just getting it on. Ready. Well, Jean, why don't you tell us about the dress? Well, this dress is a ball gown style. As you can see, the skirt is very full, lots of flounce. This is a Basque waistline, and it draws your eye to the center, elongating the torso. But any hint of a tummy here will be magnified because this is framing that area. I could barely do this zipper up, and it's pulling so much that this placket isn't even covering the zipper properly. Can you breathe in that dress? Hardly. OK. Will you do everything I ask you to do in the fitness plan? And will you stick to your meal plan for the next six weeks, no cheating? Yes. All right. You're signed up. Awesome. We've got six weeks to tone Heidi's back, narrow her waist, and slim her hips. What's going to really keep me focused is I really have to fit into that wedding dress on my wedding day um, and not have that zipper bust on me. How are you doing, Heidi? Good. Today, you're going to go through an obstacle course. I'm going to be testing your fitness ability, thereby providing you with a proper fitness plan to make sure you look great in your dress. Run, 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 run. You're seriously pulling that. Sometimes marriage feels like you're in quicksand, Heidi. <sighs> oh, my god. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dragging the heels exercise is like dragging dead weight. And Tommy's dead weight. Come on, Heidi. Uh, let's go, let's go. I'm so go, done. Go, 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 go. Come on, Heidi. I'm hardly Ow. pulling. I'm hardly pulling. Ow. Come on. You want to look good in that dress, don't you? When you go to the altar, you can't have cold feet. Come on, Heidi. Cold feet, cold feet, cold feet. There you go. Come on. It's killing me. Oh. Try and push him up. I'm not going up. I'm dead. No, you're not. Show some spine. I don't even think I could get my spine up. I couldn't even show anything. Okay. Keep it going. Heidi's struggling. She can do it. Right now, it's more of a mental thing. We're going to break that. And one. The obstacle course is the hardest thing I've done in a very, very long time. Today's performance wasn't that great. No. Your mind wanders. You got to be more focused. You saw what that dress looks like on you, right? Yes. I didn't think I was this unfit, but it kind of shows that maybe I need some work. Wow. Sugar, 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 chocolate. Come on. Do you need this much chocolate? Everything in here. Say goodbye. These are the worst. Instant noodles. Hangover food. More sodium than you need for a week. Sodium makes you retain water. Yeah. You don't want to be bloated in that wedding dress. No. The cupboards at Heidi's were full of tons of just sugary carbs. She has a carb fetish. I can see we have a lot of work ahead. That basket was so heavy, and I was a little bit shocked about how much food, bad food, I'd accumulated. How long we stay here today depends on you. You want to look good in that dress, don't you? Next, the heat's turned up, and Heidi starts to burn. I'm totally going to die. You don't care. It's so tight down here, I think I'm going to lose my rib cage. Heidi wants to lose her bulging midriff and saggy back. But is she willing to put in the work to get herself into that dress? Let's go, let's go. I'm so done. Go, 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 go. How you doing, Heidi? Good. So you're about to be a newlywed? Mm-hmm. Well, being a newlywed involves lots of changes. Most brides gain between six and eight pounds a year. So by your fifth anniversary, you could look like this. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> I can't even look at it. I take it that's not what you want. <laughs> no. All right, good. That's not the way it has to go. You keep up eating correctly, exercising, you could look like this. 
So what's it going to be? Um, I think I'll exercise and eat properly. Well, that's good, because we're going to start right now. Notice your dress was a little tight through the midsection. Legs straight up in the air. You're going to pop your hips up and down. Do a leg drop. Don't let them touch. Back to the middle. Down to one side. Keep your shoulder blade on the ground. Now the other side. Don't let them touch. We're working your total core. We're working your, the lower part of your abdominals. Hip pop. Come on, come on. Heidi. I can't breathe. Would you rather not be able to breathe now or on your wedding day? No. It just burns and it just won't even move. Like the muscle just doesn't work anymore. Heidi's got that kind of skinny fat body. Um, she's pretty thin, but she carries a spare tire, so she's definitely gonna need some toning. I've got Heidi working out five hours a week, and I'm gonna have to push her every second. Now, this is a plank. This is for your core. I need to stay focused on getting into my dress. There's just no way around it. Oh, that was hard. Heidi, this new meal plan is designed to get you zipped up into that wedding dress. So we're gonna start with one piece of whole wheat toast and one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. You also get an omelet with that. It's three egg whites and one egg yolk. Do you think that's gonna be enough? The breakfast um, was a little sketchy. Um, it just seemed a little inadequate, like it was really small portions. For lunch, you've got the whole wheat wrap with three pieces of low-fat ham. A lot of vegetables in dinner. Loading up on the vegetables is very important. You wanna have about two-thirds of your meals in vegetables. Wow, okay. And you've got a four-ounce chicken breast. Four ounces is about the size of your palm. Okay. I think the hardest part that I'm gonna have sticking to the plan is the, the hunger pangs. When you're going to a buffet, make sure you look at all the choices first and then choose what you're going to eat. That way you won't overdo it by going back for seconds. Okay. For my stagette, we're going to Vegas and it's gonna be a crazy time. I really wanna hold it together, but I'm not sure that it will happen. Welcome to Tommy Vegas. We're open 24 7. On today's menu, Miss Heidi. Got a couple special reports buffets, alcohol. Run it, run it, run it. How long we stay here today depends on you. All the way to the log. I'm gonna twist my ankle. Come on, let's go. Ow. Ow, nothing. This is what happens when you get caught cheating. Splinters. I'm gonna bail. She really has to bear down and focus. She doesn't have that much time left. She's got a dictionary of excuses. She's really got to decide what she wants to do, how good she wants to look on her wedding day. This is one of the new rides of Tommy Vegas. Keep going. You do the crime, you do the time. I'm totally going to die, and you don't care. Fast as you can. I have a really hard time pushing myself. Like, it's a good thing that he's pushing me to get me into my dress. That's payback. We've got to get you looking your best in that wedding dress, right? Yes. Can't cheat. Mm -mm. Can you explain this to me? Next, Heidi gets busted. I cannot believe Rick gave that to you. Again. I'm sorry it's come to this, but we don't have much time. I'm gonna kill Rick for this. It's so tight down here, I think I'm gonna lose my rib cage. Heidi is three weeks in and she can't stop cheating. Now, it's time to measure up. How you doing, Heidi? Good. Ready for your three week weigh in. Yes. Bust, 34 inches. No change. <laughs> well, that's kind of good, huh? Waist, 27. You've lost two inches. Nice. You must be noticing that in your clothes. Definitely. Hips, 36. You're down one inch. Yeah, it's actually more than I expected, actually. I want you to step on. Weight, 100. 36 pounds. You've lost two pounds. <laughs> Not so good. It's time to try that dress on again. Let's go put it on. Come on in. Come on, girls. What's going on in there? Oh. All right. Feel any different? What do you think, Jean? Uh, it's pulling too much. So the Placket is sticking out. Mm -hmm. That should lie flat. And also, there's still a little bit flashy. And 
Fails the two-finger test. Can't uh, really do it. Heidi's lack of push resulted in a very, very insignificant two-pound weight loss. She's really gonna have to work extremely hard for the next three weeks to get into that dress. I'm definitely worried. Um, time is a, a big factor in me losing all this weight um, and getting into this dress properly. But I guess Heidi's not worried enough. How are you doing, Heidi? Good, how are you? I found a little something I think you should see. Can you explain this to me? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I cannot believe Rick gave that to you. Don't worry about who gave it to me. Saltwater taffy? That wasn't all mine. Save your breath. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Let's go. This is what you get. You wanna fit in that dress, right? Faster. Twice as fast. Come on. I'm sorry it's come to this, but we don't have much time. I'm gonna kill Rick for this. Been on her butt extremely hard. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up. I will drop the ball on you if you stop again. Six. Limited time, but desperate times, desperate measures. How does that saltwater taffy oh. taste now? Not so good. I have been working harder to try to lose more weight, but I don't know. Crossing my fingers. Next, Rick and Heidi ride the waves. He's trying to make it. And the moment of truth arrives. Bulging bride Heidi struggled through three weeks of calorie slashing and intense workouts. I will drop the ball on you if you stop again. But will her slow start keep her from fitting into her dress? Two pounds. I'm worried that um, I'm not gonna fit properly into the dress um, because I haven't really lost much weight. Now it's time for fiance Rick to help me push Heidi to the next level. Heidi, Hi. we're gonna be kayaking today. We're gonna head over there to that island? All the way out there. All the way out there. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get started. All right. Let's go. Oh, dear. I've never kayaked before. Come on. I'm coming. Partnership. Coming. I was very worried. I felt really unstable in the water, floating around in this plastic tube. Maybe I'm holding it wrong. Go a little uh, narrower in. Yikes. Rick is showing some great patience right now. Right there. This was a bad idea. It's gonna come in handy. Just keep to the right. Aim to the right. I'm going to the right. Perfect. Just keep on straight. How you doing, Heidi? I'm tired. I'm just trying to make it. I'm losing it. Try staying in this formation. Oh. Good job. Thanks. You're almost there, Heidi. Come on, let's go. You're doing great. Oh. Give her to the beach. Give her to the beach. Really dig, really dig. Rick really pushed Heidi along when she was a little bit off kilter. Communication is key. I think that's gonna serve the both of you really well. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. Final weigh in. Bust. Bust. 32 inches. Down two inches. Do you like that? Well, I don't know, we'll see. Waist, 26. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Down three inches. Oh, that's so good. Happy about that one? <laughs> yeah, that one I am. Hips, 35. Down two inches. Pays to step it up, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, up on the scale. Weight, 100. 29 pounds. Shut up. Down nine pounds. Are you guys kidding me? You're so lying. We'll find out if it was all worth it once we see you in the dress. Okay. Heidi's here for her final Heidi. dress fitting. Here you go. I think it's falling off of me. Well, it's on. Heidi doesn't know it, but I've invited her friend Tanya for the big reveal. We all want to find out how that dress is going to fit. It fits! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> the dress, it totally fits! I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> Remember when we could barely do up the zipper? Today we did it up, it was like zzz. Also, it's so much 
better in the waist here. It's all nipped in. There's no more pooch at the Basque waistline. She passes the two finger test. It's not too tight. And if you just turn around here and show us your gorgeous back, look at that. It's no more spillage, no muffin top. The placket is sitting nicely. She looks great. She looks like a princess. Heidi, you had us worried at the start. We thought Vegas did you in. Then you came back, then you fell off. But the last three weeks, you gave it everything we asked you to. And this is what you got. I feel amazingly proud of myself and because uh, it's been really hard and I know how hard I've worked, so it's very rewarding. Heidi came out in the dress and it looked fantastic on her. You can see the excitement in Heidi's face and uh, she's gonna have a great wedding. Despite a slow start, Heidi pulled it together at the end, dropping seven inches and nine pounds to look gorgeous in her dress. On the big day, uh, it's gonna feel fabulous walking into the church and, you know, um, have my dress fit me and look the way it does right now.